I'm Batman. Have you, uh, see my horse? Well, well. So this is from the 1994 Legends line. This is the Dark Rider, which is another Batman figure, which was a huge line, by the way, pretty much based off the animated series. So this guy can run from anywhere from like the 20 bucks to maybe 50 range, depending if you have the box, complete set, complete weapons, everything. But what is it? It is a black stallion, little black logo, logo going on there. It's pretty much hollow plastic, heavy plastic on the tail, but it's pretty much, let's say a cheaper toy, but it looks pretty good for being almost what, what, 30 years old or whatever. So pretty much you set the styling down or you can rear it up. Not bad. Little red eyes for details and stuff. You get the little place where you put your foot in, stuff like that too. And you got these for, yes, believe it or not, Batman can ride the horse. Before we set the Batman on the horse, what's going on with Batman here? So I'm not sure if he comes with a cape or anything like that, but he does have your long pointed ears. Okay, got a little gold trim going on here. So, and just like the early 90s, all these legs are pretty much solid. So, but also they're widened out so you can ride a horse. So, got the moving hands, I'm sorry, moving arms here. So, and obviously you see that one springs. So you got this little trigger in the back right here. Pull it. And yes, that is for his first weapon, which is an actual whip. Yes, I don't know too many people that whip weapons, but, you know, or whip horses, <laughs> whip weapons. But um, maybe Zorro did. But so there you go. That's pretty cool. I like that. So kind of glad there's no cape there. If not, I'd probably be messing that up. But that is cool. Whip, 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 whip it good. Da -na 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 -na. So then we got another weapon. Got a nice little sword here. So classic, curved, flexible plastic. So very 90s made. So you don't really have the details in there, but you have the gold paint and it's just black plastic. So of course you can take the whip out and put the sword in and do the same thing for whipping. Pretty cool, huh? I like that. So now what we're going to do, we're actually going to stick them on the horse. Boom. Go, go, go. Put that down. We're going to go ahead and put one of these in his hand. You might actually have to wrap it around there or something, but yeah. Get him facing you. And there you go. There he is. He also, like I said, you can tuck his feet in there too, but we're going to make him. So as he's reared up, if you want, you can, could, tuck his feet in, those little foot holsters here, as he's rearing up. That would be a good pose, actually. This sword ready to go. But like I said, it's only a trigger, so you can only sweep it a few times, and you got the whip. So, not bad. But that's it. Rearing up, I like that pose. That's a cool little toy, guys. 94, 94, man. And look, it's still holding up. So half the toys we get these days are not all that great. Some just pop off. There's too many moving parts or whatever. Some come with way too many things. This comes with a horse, two weapons, and a Batman. I'm sure he comes with a cape or something like that too, but we'll pretend he doesn't need it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get a closer look. There he is. Pretty clean. I like that. That is still cool. Like I said, you know, if you want, you can pose them, make them look better. But I do like that. That's freaking cool. So Batman's rode many horses, like the Dark Knight. I love the Dark Knight series. So, but this is just cool. It's like a Zorro Batman. But yes, that is cool. One more loop. Batman.
picture of the box. I actually had to find this on Google real quick. But Legends of Batman, Dark Rider Batman, whipping arm and slashing sword. That's pretty cool. Roaring battle stance. That's pretty cool. It's a basic box, but I do love the artwork from back in the day. It's so comic booky. I love it.